Hey, what's up you guys? Josh here with the Go Kaken channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing a video that shows the different tools and organization uh, tips that I have for you guys, the tools that I use to work on my RC cars. Um, hopefully this video is helpful to anyone who uh, maybe is buying their first RC car and is kind of at a blank slate on the different tools they're gonna to buy uh, and everything that's that's needed along with this hobby. So I'm gonna start with the simplest thing. If you just wanna get a couple tools to get you by your first RC, and then I'll go through the rest of what I have as far as um, keeping everything organized. So to start, let me just go over the simple stuff. And to do that, I need to open this up and get into this box here. So I definitely recommend having a dedicated um, toolbox of some sort. This one's got the T-Bone Racing sticker on it. Anyways, um, this box I got at, I want to say Harbor Freight. Um, I forget what kind of box it is. I took all the stickers off, but um, it's very simple. It's like a Pelican knockoff. Um, but anyways, inside here, I've got just a couple things. Um, but let me get down to... The simple tools. All right, okay. So first off, you've got a couple of the various um, different tools that come with your RC cars, but setting these aside, setting the you know wheel nut wrench aside, setting this aside, the first thing I would recommend getting is either a tool set like this. A lot of times they'll come 1.5 millimeter, 2, 2.5, and 3, um, which I think is exactly what this is. Yep. Um, so something like that. And then also a nut set, a nut wrench, tool, whatever. A set like this will have a lot of the common uh, uh, nut sizes as well. So 4, 7, 4, 5.5, 7, and 8. So you can either go this route or you can go something like this where you can have an even smaller box and this little uh, tool here, I got this offline on Amazon. It's uh, Connext 2. You can't see, see it's a C-O-N Next 2. It's got a, um, I forget what this, this is called quick lock or quick connect, something, something along those lines. I mean, it's that along with these here. Now these are, I'm pretty sure the same size as that. So let's see, we've got, yep, three, two, it should be 2.5 and a 1.5 um, hex driver. So I got this kind so that I can lock it in. It's not gonna come out. Here, let me actually, I'm gonna put the phone on the, uh, on the tripod here. All right, that way I can go ahead and connect it just like that. It's not gonna come out or fall out that way. And then it's got plenty of torque. Um, the only downside to these is they're held in place with this little grub screw right in here. So if you're really trying to torque something down, it gets to a point where um, this handle will actually just rotate on uh, this shaft and it's not gonna tighten anymore. This will allow you to tighten it down as hard as you can go. Uh, just keep in mind that a lot of times you're screwing into plastic and that will eventually strip it out. So I like this because you have more control. Um, this kind of protects you from over tightening something. So. You've got a couple options there, and I've gone back and forth with using both. So let me pick the phone back up. Okay. So I always keep a lot of the uh, regular si or regular tools that come with RC cars. I bought, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them now. So a lot of them have kind of the same tools over and over, but definitely keep those on hand. 
I've got all these different sizes that, again, it just has just come with the different RC cars that I've got. But if you're looking for, again, just the quick starter uh, tool set, definitely get something like this or those in conjunction with this. Um, I also have these smaller uh, nut drivers that um, can lock in here as well. But I found myself using those more than these. But one of the options, I could honestly just use everything in this little box and just throw those away. But if he just throws tools away, right? Okay, so there's that that little section there. I also have just a couple extra screws and stuff, um, pins. I've got extra tie rods for the rebuild because those always seem to strip out. When they do strip out again, I've got these aluminum tie rod ends that I'm going to end up trying. And then I've got just various uh, wash, rubber washers, nylon washers, things like that. So that's what's in there. Um, if you're working on uh, you know, RC cars, you're probably going to have a pair of pliers. But I like a smaller set like this that close all the way. Sometimes, you know, I'll have pliers and... <laughs> ignore the mess here but let's just say for example uh these pliers now these actually do close away but sometimes you'll have them where they're not made very well and they don't close all the way so i'd say get yourself a nice set of needle nose pliers that will definitely close all the way um these are nice because they also you know they've got this spring in here that open back up uh, so it just makes it easier for grabbing something like removing a pin from an A-arm or something and then being able to just drop it quickly. So this ends up fitting in here uh, pretty nicely. So I just kind of have that drop there. Um, I've also got this nut wrench that can just drop in there. That gets pushed over to the left. The wheel uh, nut tool for the X-Max and the Revo there and then that one there. Uh, this is something else. I won't even get into that in this video, but so there is that little box now To kind of expand a little bit. So if you wanted to, you know, stop watching the video there You got what you needed. I'll try to link um, All the tools that I use or show in this video um, in the description at least the main ones um, That way you guys can go ahead and uh, stop the video here. Go buy those and you're good to go now I'm going to go ahead and continue this, though, for anyone else who's interested in kind of what's everything else that I do uh, in regards to RC. So this toolbox, um, I've got I've got six RC cars so far. I've pretty much maxed this out. So this is a, a standard tool chest bought at Home Depot. It's made by Rigid. And I put this back in here sideways. Every battery the charger and every remote for all of my RC cars fit in here. Um, so it just works out really nicely. So you can see I have all my batteries up there. Um, what I really need to do is get a Sharpie or something and mark, you know, which RC car each battery goes to. But I, I know which ones go to each, but the more I buy them, the easier it is. It's going to get to, to mix them up, but I've got all my remotes and then every uh, remote is labeled with what it goes to. It's usually not that hard getting those out, but I'm doing all this one-handed. So anyways, that's my main tool chest. And then I've got other tools for the garage in these cabinets, but this one here, I've got just uh, a couple more things. So tire glue, um, various, sized uh, screws so these can replace these are stainless steel and these can replace any of the screws that have uh, you know rusted on the RC any of the RC's most of these are for the X max because of their, them being so large but it's nice to have a set like this as well as a smaller set like this one um, and these come with nuts as well so these are stainless steel 
you can see the different sizes that I have there. If I ever need a screw or lose one, I've got extras. Uh, let's see, this is empty. I had a, another smaller tool set um, from Lowe's, but I, I really don't recommend that one. Um, let's see, I know I've got some more stuff. All right, that's just an extra um, wheel nut tool. So these were good for the X-Max body. Um, the screws that hold on to the body, a lot of times will pull right through. And so, let's see, there's no part number on here, but Luxury Radio Controlled RC. Actually, when I bought these, they only had two left in stock, and I don't know if they ended up making any more of them, but they, they worked not the best. There's other, there's better solutions for that. Um, so the rest of the stuff really, I've got like shock oil, um, you've got different, um, differential oils. I've got this here. Honestly, at, at this point of the video, I'm kind of just rambling on some zip ties. Let's see what else. So I got 20 million weight fluid for differentials. I want to kind of lock them up and then some more shock fluid. So that's pretty much it up there. And then the last thing, uh, oh shoot, I forgot about this. All right, so this has got uh, just a few other things in here. So I've got an X-Acto knife, knife um, for whatever, you know, I might need that. Looks like I actually got two of them. Um, this has been pretty handy for popping off um, pivot balls from like tie rod ends and things like that. It's pretty much the only thing I've used this tool for. Um, it's got a uh, shaft wrench, so if you were working on shocks and you needed to hold on to uh, the shaft while you took the, the shock cap off or whatever, um, this was it is good for that. Uh, as well as these holes down here are for if you were going to solder some connectors to the end of like battery plugs and things. Okay, I got a pen, a couple Sharpies, some electrical tape, and then the rest of this is just like electrical stuff. So not really RC related, but got a lot of my electrical uh, things all in here. So we'll go ahead and end that overview there. Okay, last thing. I've got these totes that all have a sticker that label that one's hard to see, but that's TRX-4. Um, it labels the parts, the stock parts. Most of these have stock parts in them. Um, when I upgrade a part on any of the RCs, I keep the stock ones just in case. Either the part doesn't work out or, you know, whatever. Um, they're all in their own tote. So I think that if you've got the space, you know, in your garage like I do, and I think this is actually a pretty clean setup, you know, all the parts with the, the bench there. Um, I definitely recommend doing that. So, whew. sorry that this video is a little long-winded. Um, I just wanted to make sure I covered everything in the same video, but at least get through those first couple tools at the beginning. So, like I said, I'll try to link as many as I can down the in the description. And if this helped you guys out, definitely let me know by leaving a like and if you have any other tool recommendations for anyone else who might be watching this video and is new to RCs, or maybe they've been in RCs for a while and this is just you know a tool that you used that I missed covering in this video, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will I'll pin the comments so that other people can see. So thank you for uh, you know, sticking to the end of this video. If you're still around, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.